Social media has been credited with bringing the world closer and making communications easier than ever before. But it's also made bullying and abuse just as easy. That's the focus of today's Insight segment. Some countries like India and Poland have already passed legislation making cyberbullying a crime. Others like New Zealand and Canada are considering similar laws. CCTV's Christian Rio reports from Toronto where one teen's death has sparked a new movement to criminalize online bullies. This video gained worldwide attention last year. A cry for help by 15-year-old Canadian schoolgirl Amanda Todd, a victim of cyberbullying. A month after posting this video, Amanda committed suicide. Anonymous blackmailers had threatened to spread intimate images she'd been pressured into posing for. Less than six months later, 17-year-old Retea Parsons was driven to suicide after photos of her during an alleged gang rape were spread around her school. The two cases prompted public outcry and demands for better protection for children online. But the legal system has so far struggled to keep up with technology. The last 10 years has seen such an explosion of technology, particularly in terms of social media and, and uh, social sharing, that it's really difficult to get a handle on what's come out this week, much less deal with what's coming next month and next year. The Canadian government has put forward a national cyberbullying bill, making it a crime to distribute intimate images without the subject's consent. No verbal online bullying or cyberbullying is really addressed. It, it focuses primarily on the distribution of uh, inappropriate intimate images. So there is a, a big chunk of the cyberbullying problem that is missing from this legislation. There are also concerns among civil liberty groups that the new bill gives authorities sweeping powers to spy on Canadians. The key to combating cyberbullying, according to psychologists, is to educate youngsters about the real-life consequences of their actions online. But while most parents may have heard about Facebook and Twitter, can they tell their Tumblr from their Snapchat? The truth is that much of the cyberspace children now inhabit is a complete blind spot for adults really difficult for parents and teachers to know what children are involved in and now more than ever parents have to keep the lines of communication open. The fate of the cyberbullying bill is unclear. If passed it may bring justice for some victims but experts argue that education is what will ultimately prevent more tragedies. It's very difficult to hold children and youth responsible for a behavior for which we have not given them any education and any foundation to understand the implications of what they're doing. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.